for your elimination challenge, Gregory and Kwame are going to take you to some of the most exciting restaurants downtown. This is like a dream come true. I'm almost in tears that Pan-African cuisine is being featured on such a platform. We want you to take inspiration from this field trip and pay homage to these cuisines in your dishes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to Akadi. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> right here, I have the beef suya. And this is the cassava couscous fermented. We got the fish with the onion and tomato relish. Wow. I hope you guys enjoy. We are going to enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Wow. There is like a mother sauce of West Africa, and it's red stew. And you take a bunch of aromatics, like garlic, ginger, tomatoes, red peppers, and then you cook that down. So it kind of like makes a sofrito. What'd you say? Like, wow, um, that's spicy. Like this fish reminds me of a fish my mom makes. We're Vietnamese, but it, it reminds me of it. Hey, Dawn, what are you making? I wanted to um, present to you guys a curry. Nice. I'm braising the goat currently. I'm going to serve it with some roti. Um, so this is Guyanese inspired. Got it. All right, I'll let you get back to work. See you tomorrow. A braise is very rustic, and I hope that it's not too simplistic. <sighs> oh, keep it simple, Jamie. Ah, oh, Nikki, fried snapper. Inspiration was from the fry whole fish. Kiki is cassava, it's like cornstarch. You can use it like that. OK. Yeah. My palate is fried. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Get it? Fried? <laughs> Don, what are you working on over there? I'm quick pickling some peppers. I'm making a chili sauce that's kind of like a play on a hot sauce from the Guyanese restaurant. My style of cooking comes from my roots. There's a certain soulfulness in my grandmother's cooking and my aunt's cooking that I want to honor them. I am nervioso. Uh, 45 minutes left, guys. Oh, sh Ooh, nice. Hi, thanks for coming. It's so great to have you guys. Let's have a seat, everybody. Moment of truth. Maybe not the kids' table. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited about this challenge and tasting all this food. What was your night out like? Actually, a lot of my group was emotional over the whole thing because the food was so comforting. They felt, like, really at home. When I got with them, I asked them, have you all had West African cuisine before? And they said no, and I said, yes, you have. You've had it, but you, you just don't know. And once they had it, the dots connected, and they are able to see their heritage within that food. For sure. Coming down. Oh, oh. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. No. Oh, OK. This looks good. Great. This smells good. Hello. Jamie, let's start with you. Akadi, the fried fish remind me of my mom's fried fish. So I went with crispy snapper, turmeric couscous, heirloom tomatoes, and some pickles. Great. <laughs> John. So I was inspired by the Guyanan cuisine. So I made curried goat, crispy roti, and fondant potatoes. And the green sauce is a play on pepper sauce. Fish is so light and crispy. The pickling juice reminded me of like a very classic Vietnamese dipping sauce. I love how she used the suya spice and the couscous. She really took this challenge and owned it. Every bite is very bright. You don't get tired of eating it. You want the second bite, you want the third bite. Oh, that's the couscous one from Akadi. Yay. Yeah. How'd it go with the judges? I don't know. What do you think of Don's goat curry and roti? I love the fact that it's on the bone. This, like, green puree. Oh, it's so good. It's so bright. I want a jar of it. <laughs> she nailed the inspiration when it comes to these flavors. It's the first dish that I want the recipe for. That, that was my favorite. That was really good. All right, let's get out of here, you guys. Let's do it. You really got me inspired. You got me? That's everybody's favorite That's dish. Like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have to get to judges' table. Thank you again for opening your restaurants and for dining with us today. It was lovely to have you.